week is cycle three, week 14, and our artist is Norman Rockwell. And we're gonna be doing a portrait. We're using colored pencils, watercolors, we have our paper and our photo. And the first thing I start with is I make a little border around my page so that I have enough room for that Norman Rockwell title that I'm gonna add. Then I look at my picture and I lay out where the faces are. So I kinda just made a little like, here's this face, Here's this face, and so on. On the fact that, oh, it doesn't look like a Norman Rockwell picture. He painted and drew really realistically. And not everybody can do in that style. So that's okay. Um, I think as artists and as student artists, we need to be okay with the fact that we have our own style and our own way of doing things. And to be happy with the art that we create. Not everyone's meant to create the same art and it's part of just being glad with the differences that God made all of us to have and um, I think more people need confidence to do art because there's a lot of artists out there who do different styles and a really good Instagram that you can follow is Arts Help. Um, just go to your Instagram and look for Arts Help. It's like a... So after I've drawn um, as much as I can that I want to add to the photo, in the best likeness that I can, I'm going to start adding... I did some color pencil right here, but now that I started doing some watercolor, I see I might need to do a little bit more color pencil. So... Um... Oh, my paper's starting to fold up. If your paper starts to fold up because it's watercolors, you can always tape the edges down. Sometimes you can use like blue painter's tape. Um, it's never too late to go back and add in with your color pencils, but you'll have to wait till your watercolors are dry. I just kind of already knew that I wanted to have these. But let's say one thing. Um, when you're drawing hair, treat it like a shape. Like see how this comes around and it's, or like even this, it's more like a shape. I added the strands in later and when I did the baby's hair I kind of did the shape of the hair. If you'll treat hair like a shape it's going to look more realistic. When I get here and I'm doing all these strands for her curls um, it, it kind of loses its its realness I guess you could say. Okay, I finished so after I did all of my watercolor I used this black color pencil. And I came in and I added some like shading and some details. If you keep your watercolor really thin, then you'll be able to let it dry quick enough to add the color pencil at the end. And kids could always add the details once they get home. And that is week 14, uh, Norman Rockwell, Portraits That Tell a Story.